Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today you find me in Woking. I'm actually walking along a riverway, just doing this intro, but I am near the London area, so I may get assaulted and robbed as we walk along this canal type thing. Rosie and Jim. But I've not done a tournament round recap video for a while, so I filmed every single shot. West Region Champs the other day at Woodbury. This is round one. I'm gonna commentate over it and come back at the end for a little recap. So here we go then. Woodbury Park, West Region Championships. Yeah. Every shot, pretty much every shot is filmed. All right, so I'm gonna commentate through. Like, I haven't actually done oh this for friend. a while, so this is quite new to me. Right, Woodbury starts off with two par fives. Two, well, the first one's fairly gettable, yeah, the second good. one really isn't. I decided to uh, miss the green, duff a chip, knock it to here, and then um, miss my par putt on the first hole. So, got off to a lovely start making a drop on a par five, which is always really positive. Um, this is a free shot par five, like there is no way it is not a free shot par five. It's a bit of a strange hole. There's It runs out of fairway, then you go over this big hill, and then this is the second shot where you're laying up to a yardage. Gave myself 130, misread the wind, and if there's one place you can't go, it's long, basically. Um, so I decided to ML the green by 20 yards and leave myself in some thick bund from 130 yards. Um, so nice, sensible play, uh, smart play to, uh, to get the round started when you're trying to make up and down for par from the bund. Um, to avoid going bogey bogey start on two par fives which which is supposed to be your strengths if you hit it like quite a long way Clever. anyway give the par putt an all right run up the hill didn't hold it so just going to blame it on the fact that it was early in the morning 8 a.m early tea time bogey bogey start then go on to this side which was around 180 ish yards wind off the right hit a really nice eight iron in here Pretty close, had a good look for birdie down the hill. This is like break in. I thought it was like two cups off of the left. This ended up swinging massively. Um, so a little tap in par on the third, fourth hole, around 420 yards, 420. Um, hit a two iron down the fairway, hit a really nice sand wedge into here and had the six foot putt for birdie. And at this point it's quite, this is like quite an important putt because you don't really want to be, you know, having two looks for short birdie in a row and missing them both because it's just not good for the momentum. But anyway, knock that in, back to one over. Um, shot onto the par three green here, which was pretty good. Another decent roll, actually rolled the ball really nicely with putter today. Little tap in. Um, this one is sort of like a drivable par four, dog leg right to left around the corner. Unless, you know, you bail it 70 right to avoid the out of bounds. Had around 70 ish with um, my lovely shallow wedge action. Um, I was expecting this to like to sit and kick left a bit, but it didn't. It just like released out to the back of the green. Long par putt, sorry, birdie putt down the hill. Um, greens were like slightly quicker than they look on here um, but not that quick for Woodbury which I did struggle with a tiny bit I must admit my pace control was slightly off all day um, next hole missed the first two shots but had this which is absolutely stinking because there's a tear in the green that goes down towards the hole and you know I've got a wedge in my hand but is it the little flop jump He's in a wonderful flop shot onto the slope and he's released it down there and he's held the par putt up and down. That's the first up and down this year. No, I'm joking. Stop taking the piss out of his short game. Um, long par four up the hill, 430, plays longer just because it's uphill, but hit driver, pitching wedge from around 150. Pin was on the right hand side of the green. Didn't really want to miss it right, although I thought that anyway. Turns out right wasn't actually that bad of a miss. And from here, it looked like it had to swing quite a bit from the left, but didn't really. So we've just uh, 
clean this one up. And we've got a par five, so fairly long par five. It's about five. 550. And unfortunately, this one got like a pretty nasty kick. Because if it doesn't, I can go for the green. Um, well done, mate. But to be honest, from there, actually oh, did pretty oh, well done. advancing that down the fairway, about 150 yards of a wedge, and uh, left myself around 90 yards with a 58 degree. And this is really shallow. Yeah, no divot, I don't think, was, uh, was moved. Um, nice high ball flight. But the thing is, because I'm not feeling that confident with the with the wedges, especially as it gets inside a full one, I'm sort of putting it back in my stance and and hitting hitting down on them to get strike. And I know that's not the right way of going about it, but I made birdie. So um, same here, no divot. Uh, Ninety. <laughs> Look at that thing flying through the air. The shot tracer almost picked up the divot there, um, but again, left myself a putt for birdie. Strong effort. I think was uh, uttered after that part. Um, part four down the hill, play shorter, but it's quite a long one, about 4.20, 4.30 again. Decent drive Just kept down behind this tree right. and had 110. And it was one of those situations where this potentially is like a flyery lie. Oh, you want? Um, but it turns out it just like popped up in the air. Fifth, tried a 58 degree yeah. just to see if it would fly. Um, but it just popped up in the air and I left myself about 50 yards on the green. Which is a pretty good part. Hold that one coming back, which I don't think was recorded. Now we're onto a little stretch of holes at Woodbury where you really, you can get it going. Cause this is, this is a downhill path for around 400 yards. European. But anyway, after all that, um, had around one, around 100, I think, after that free iron off the tee. Because it just went absolutely miles down the hill. Again, didn't really get the flyer or the jump that I was expecting. Just uh, gave it the little tee cosy. And pretty solid from there. Um, Right, another fairly scoreable hole, but this one, the tee, I mean, the tees, they really did put them back today. This was around 4.10 from here. They can make this quite short. I left myself 135 to an island green. Didn't really want to flirt with that tree, so played pretty safe to the left, pin high. Another good part. Travel. Just left it in the jaws again. And um, do we tap it in? Yeah, playing with Kev Harper on the on the right there, who you may know if you watched um, Crossfield's channel in the past. Kev is not really playing much golf anymore, but he was an unreal golfer, won Euro Pro Order of Merit, played Challenge Tour for a bit, played in the Open. Uh, this is a par five up the hill. Great strike. Shot trace on the driver was weird, but this was such a nice flight in there with um, with the five iron. Bit long. And then he's, he's, he's going for the Texas wedge, John. Most people would not try that shot, but uh, it takes some skill to play the Texas wedge from the rough. Pretty much because I didn't feel comfortable off a downslope with a questionable lie. But that's the thing, like, it's best doing what you're comfortable with and then, yeah, leaving it, leaving it on the edge. Just, like, rolled over the lip. So that was fun, that one. Um, this is a downhill par three, long. It's a full two, uh, full five iron to the middle of the green. I think I hit like 15 greens in reg today. So ball striking, I mean, Woodbury's greens are on the large side, but really feel like my ball striking's in a pretty good spot, um, all things considered. Another par, this is exciting, I know, because I've made Nothing but pars this bat nine. So we've got a par five up the hill. Hit this one off the toe. And got a bit of gear effect, luckily. The old uh, gear effect. Um, 
Eight iron was the wrong club. 190 yeah. foot is slightly more downwind than it was, so I left myself a uh, chip shot. 53 degree, just trying to like bump this one up there. Actually, not too bad because I left myself six foot up the hill. And then, um, cheers. Then again, that's just it's just like a foot short of pace, and I was struggling with that on the back nine. Um, just used to seeing Woodbury's greens a lot quicker. So again, another birdie opportunity gone. This one is a short par four. I was pretty happy with that wedge shot. Um, almost missed the green. In fact, did miss the green, hit it on the fringe. And then had this putt for birdie up the hill. And how has this not gone in? That has to, that has to break at that point. As you can see, I'm, I'm a broken man. And uh, probably cussing a lot at this point. But knock it in. Let's, let's just finish with a birdie. Oh, Nothing but pars on the back nine. Haven't really got much out of this round at all, especially starting with stupid bogeys. Uh, we've got 165 yards to this back. Oh, if you want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. No stress there. Yeah. Just letting some ladies for it. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to show off. That's all right. Well, watch it from another Just <laughs> chatting. Absolute shy. Yeah, thanks. You too. I am. Not them. Um, 165 yards. Nine iron. Simmer. Not the best of shots. But a look for birdie, albeit a long one, across the green, thinking this has to go in. You know, they've all missed. I'm due a putt. Now just hit the hole and the flag and stay out. So. Yeah. Fun round, level par. Right, here's for the recap. So I ended up shooting level par for that tournament round. Next day went out and shot one over with five birdies and an eagle. And then a really weird patch in the middle where I made like two doubles and a triple. So all in all, the golf, is actually in quite a good spot competitively. Now, like I said, I'm currently in Woking. I'm doing a content trip again. Still got a couple more videos from the North trip that are coming over the next few days slash over the next week. And then the content's gonna be coming out from this London trip and it is gonna be, it's just getting better every single time we go away from these trips. I've taken on a videographer, we're doing it properly. And in fact, one of the next videos is gonna be a little vlog of behind the scenes of what's going on what's going on with the channel, where are we going with it all. So keep an eye out for that and I'll be back soon. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a tournament round footage and all that. Bit of an old school tournament round update. Um, hope you're all good. Catch you on the next one. See you soon.